How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And in this one, it's a very good one for you guys who are interested in how I edit my photos before I post them onto Instagram and other social media platforms. Now let's have a massive shout out to our sponsor for this video, Smarty Powered by 3. As someone who consumes a lot of data, whether I'm uploading to Instagram, Twitter and so on, as well as using Adobe Cloud uh, platform where I get to share all my photos that I edit across all platforms from my tablet to my laptop, even online and my phones. Uh, uploading data without worrying about how much data I've used is very important. And with Smarty, powered by three, for £17 a month on the Black Friday deal, you are looking at 100 gig unlimited text, unlimited calls uh, to use throughout the month. And it's a 30 day rolling contract, no credit checks, and you can cancel it whenever you want. And you've also got EU roaming available to you as well. They also have a loyalty program, so if you refer a friend, you both get a month free. Uh, but for now, if you use my link in the description area, you'll be able to get one month free to get you started on Smarty. The SIM card can also be used in a tablet device if you prefer to do so, or in your phone or a mobile broadband device, so then you can use it for streaming, which is pretty cool. Signing up to Smarty is also very easy to do as well. You just go on the website, scroll through the page, select the plan, fill in a few information, bits and bobs here and there, and you're good to go. And you should receive your SIM card in the post in due time and you can start using your data. Right then, so if you want your photo to go from something like this, uh, then to something like this, it's very easy, very simple to do once you figure out all the little things that you have to tweak to get those uh, colors popping uh, as you wish to do so. Uh, for me, it's very autumnal, so I wanted something that's colorful in the background that matches the red accent of the color of the car in this photo. So let's get started and see what you actually do and what I do uh, to make this pop in that way. So here on the screen, you can see that this is the finished product, but what you usually do is if you press on hold on Adobe Lightroom, uh, you can see the previous image and what it's meant to, what it was like when I shot it. Uh, but one thing I usually do when I take my photos is get the exposure levels right in the first place. So when it comes to editing, the first thing I do is go into light and on the light, you can change few settings, but I don't touch my exposure as such. But if I need to do so, I can also do that obviously. But for this video, I'm gonna leave the exposure uh, back to zero. So one thing you notice is right at the top, you can see what you're changing as well. So you don't have to keep your eyes at the bottom. Uh, so right at the top there, if I press that again, you can see the numbers changing at the top there. Uh, so that's where you can see what you're doing as you're editing. So I leave the exposure as it is. Uh, contrast level, I bumped that up to 46. So you can see there. So again, it brings out all the dark uh, areas in the shot. And then I compensate that with highlights as well. So further back behind the car, I want to bring out those extreme area that goes all the way to the back because I want your eyes to be drawn to the car as much as possible, uh, complemented with the colors in the background. And then we're going to shadows. Again, you just bump that up to 35. So with this one, you can see the difference. You don't want it too dark. You just want it to be just uh, about right there. Um, obviously you can mess around with that. There's no right or wrong way of doing these things. Uh, this is just my preference. And then you got whites as well. So you can bring out the whites. So I drop out, I drop it down a little bit. Uh, one thing that's confusing about this is dropping it down makes it darker, obviously. Um, so I drop it down a little bit and then your blacks as well. I, I tone that all the way up. So one thing I do is use that to counter each other. So the whites and the blacks, I sort of counter them up. So I, I bump that up a little bit. And then the next thing is to go into curve. I know this might sound backwards for some uh, photographers and editors out there, but I tend to do it this way. And then I'd go into red and then bump the red up right at the top of the curve, as you can see there. And then go into green as well, I'll leave that as it is. I don't wanna to touch the greens at all. The blue, I wanna bring out a little bit because it counters uh, the, the red a little bit. So I, I tone that down right at the top, push that down on the curve. So you can see the difference there, it's too bluey there. So I bring it right down just a tiny wee bit, as you can see there. And then click done on the lighting and then go into colors. On the colors, you can do different things. So first thing I do first, again, this might be backwards for some, for some, but it makes it easier to get your head around it. So temperature, I, I increase it to five. I don't want it to be too cold or too warm. I want it to be just perfect, to be very autumnal. And then your tint, I do that as well to plus 15. So it goes towards a purpley purpley area. So if you bring it to this side, you can see just ruins it too much for me. So I kind of go to the other end because that's where the colors of the leaves uh, come come out to play there. <laughs> so maybe just a tiny little bit. And then go to vibrance. You want it to be vibrant just a little bit as well. So I put that, I push that up to plus 24 so you can make it pop just a little bit, but not too much. And then saturate, saturation to complement that uh, to plus four. If you make it too saturated, then it becomes too unreal and you don't want that at all. As you're doing it regularly, you can always press that to sort of uh, show you the previous and after, so you get a before and after of what you're doing as you're editing. Next thing is to go into your mix. 
So in Mix, this is where you can pick each individual colors and sort of edit the hue, the saturation, the luminance out of each colors. So we start from red here because we've got some red in there. I'll drop the hue, uh, the hue down to minus 23. Saturation, a bump up to uh, plus 16 there. Then I go across to orange. There's a lot of orange in here, which we want to keep as well. So we drop the hue right all the way down. Increase the saturation by plus 59. Luminance, we we'll drop it by minus 53. Again, feel free to mess around with this stuff to change it as you wish to do so. Uh, go further down to yellow. You do the same again. So you drop it down to what minus 100. Saturation to plus 16. And luminance, you drop that by minus 30. Go to green. You increase the green because we want the leaves to still show, especially the ones in the background there on the edge, on the tree edge in the background. We'll go back up. With the hue on this one, we do plus 25 on the green, minus 40 on saturation and plus 66 on luminance. And uh, we go across to the sort of light shade of blue there. We increase the hue to plus 26, saturation to minus nine, luminance to plus 30. Again, keep messing around with this one, tweak it up and down till you get the right colors and what you wanna do. Go across to the next one to purple, close to purple. Got minus 30, minus 50 and minus 18. This one we wanna drop down. We don't want it to look too cold. And then we do the same again for the purple as you go up, minus 25 on saturation, leave the other bits as it is. And then go all the way up here and then just leave that as zero. So we don't wanna to touch that at all. That's already fine as it is. One thing I tend to do sometimes as well is you can pick colors in Lightroom Mobile using this. So I can go to that area there and then you, I can mess around with it by just dragging up and down like that. You can see what you're doing there, um, which I did a little before saturation to sort of bring that colors out. As you can see there, uh, I can go all the way down, make it brighter, make it lighter shade, but I'll leave it about there. And then luminance, uh, you can do the same as well, but that will change the background. So it's up to you how you want that. So maybe bring it down a bit there. So it's a bit darker in the background. And there you have it. So that's majority of the work done. Uh, click done on the colors and then go across the effect. Uh, you got clarity, so increase clarity to 37. You don't want it to be too much, then it looks too harsh. Uh, or you can bring it all the way down to 24 if you prefer to do so. One thing I really love on the tools uh, uh, is the dehaze uh, tool. So this one, as you can see there, it looks too faded. I don't want it to, <laughs> to be faded. Uh, so I go down to plus 34, so it still retains some of those qualities in the shot. Uh, go down, there's nothing else I do to it. Maybe sometimes I put some grain, uh, but it depends on what I'm, what I'm doing, usually in portrait shots. I might put some grain in there. Uh, optics, I don't touch. Everything else, I don't touch. And here, you can then save uh, this to your camera roll if you want to do so. We'll tap the uh, uh, triple dot here, and you can create a preset uh, from this as well. So if you want to apply it to other photos that you've taken, uh, you can do so as well. And voila, that's it. That's how you edit it. So you just save it to your uh, camera roll. So if I do this, save the camera, I do maximum available. So by the time I take it into Instagram, even if it reduces the quality, it still retains what I shot uh, in raw format in the first place. So if we go back here, if I press and hold that, you can see before and after, and it looks way better uh, afterwards as well. So when I post this on my Instagram, which you should check out at Gadgets Boy, you see how this looks uh, when I posted it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys have found it very informative and educational. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments uh, section below. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you don't forget to check out Smarty uh, is the sponsor for this video. And for 17 pounds a month on the Black Friday deal, especially using my link, uh, you get 100 gig of data, uh, you get unlimited calls, unlimited text, and you can use it in a tablet device, your mobile broadband for streaming, and uh, yeah, you get a month free using my link, so do check it out. As usual, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well, so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.